Well, thank you, Janet. Uh, I'm Scott Lingrel again, Vice President for Enrollment Management at Georgia Southern University. And um, I am just honored to be on stage with these uh, wonderful leaders and, and to be here with Janet and her team uh, doing great work in higher ed. Uh, since we only have 12 minutes, I'm going to get right to it. It's a little bit like, uh, like uh, preaching to the choir here because a lot of you have had these experiences already. But I want, to, um, I want to tell you a little bit about what our experience is with our employee engagement survey. So, so these are results. You've probably received some of these very similarly. These are category results for, for my division at the university. And we've done this now twice, so I'm going to show you a little bit about the change also. But these were the category uh, results the, the, uh, for last year's survey. And um, uh, what we did is we took a look at this and said, okay, so uh, it looks like about a 3.75. If we hit that 3.75 or, or below that, we need to pay attention to what it is. So that's what you see here uh, in the yellow. The only one that's different than that is the 3.81. It's above the 3.75, but that's a, that's a level of leadership. And uh, we said to ourselves, hey, we, we're going to hold our leaders a little higher uh, expectations for our leaders. And so, therefore, we set that, that baseline at, at, at 4.0. And so these are the four that actually fell below uh, that ranking in last year's uh, results. And so what we did is we uh, did what, uh, what we're uh, supposed to do. We made action items. And uh, you can see the, the scores there. Uh, if you look clear out to the right, you can see our unit baseline scores. And that was what we got as, as a division. We knew we needed to focus on communication. We need to focus on culture, but you saw also uh, environment in there was one of them that we wanted to pay specific attention to. So you see on there the divisional uh, action items that we, that we took and, and paid attention to. Uh, we decided we would do comprehensive divisional onboarding. Uh, I would have discussion sessions as a VP because there were items that were kind of interesting that, that our employees said, hey, we, we don't really understand this. And I'll give you an example of one of those. Uh, we have a, 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 a uh, evaluation philosophy that says uh, meets expectation is really actually good. It's not middle of the road. It's good because we have such high expectations. We want to meet expectations. If you meet expectations, that's great. Well, our employees didn't quite think that, right? They thought if I'm not superior, then then I'm not good, or you don't think I'm good, or you don't value me. So we had to talk about some of those kind of things. The other thing is uh, we started a new employee mentorship program. We knew that part of communication was as they were coming in, uh, in our onboarding program, which is the top one there, that we had to do some of those things to start that role of communication right from the beginning. So those are some of the things. The other things that we did, we had 31 different um, action items for our entire division, right? So there's a compounding effect that happens with this because we couldn't handle everything at the division level and that's not the proper place to do it. So in the units, each unit that had results, they did their action items and we uh, handled these same things. Again, same four categories essentially that we had to focus on and that was what we did. So the results this year. Um, you can see the results in the uh, left-hand column there were last year, this year's results in uh, 2022. Uh, all of them went up. Uh, we're very fortunate that we had great uh, response for uh, the survey, but also that they went up. And also uh, that those four categories that we were specifically focusing on, all of them went up. I'm particularly proud of the AVP one, and that's because um, in our results, it was a very interesting dynamic. Usually what happens is the closest um, uh, relationship to the manager is the highest score, and then it kind of goes down as it gets there. Well, we also have a very dynamic president, so sometimes it goes back up, right, for the president. Had to say that. My evaluation is due soon, too. But, okay, so, but anyway, that particular score in the, in the hierarchy was lower than the trajectory uh, should have been. And so... Uh, so that's one we particularly worked on, and that was, again, an issue of communication, mostly. Uh, but you can see those results. And so we're focusing this year, um, all of the lower results, again, that 3.75, actually we're now in all in culture. And of course, that's where some pay uh, questions are in that culture category. So 
all of them were in that, that category. We're going to go all in on culture. Of course, we're still going to do the same things that we did in the previous uh, year uh, to, 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 to focus on those other areas. But we're going to talk a little bit about salary equity, uh, not only what that means, kind of an instructional piece of, of what the market is and how we get that information and how we determine what your salary it is, but also give them a lot of information about what goes into your salary. So down at the bottom, uh, total compensation. The, the total compensation, not just the number, which is an important number, but what do you get out of being an employee here and how can you benefit from it even more than what you are? And then employee referral. Uh, that question is the one that dogs me the most because it's like, if, why can't you say you, you would refer other people to work here? You're having a great experience. Our scores are so good. Uh, what's, what's the deal? Well, there's something in the culture there, and we're going to talk a little more about that more specifically and not use it as an experiment, you know, the experimental design of we're going to do something and see if the scores change. No, we're going to talk specifically and be very, very clear about we're talking to you about this because we want you to refer other people. In today's employment environment, we have to. So, Ron, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thanks, Scott. Um, man, he was right on the six-minute mark, too. Um, but yeah, thank you. And as Scott mentioned, this is our second year um, going through the employee engagement survey. And I can tell you, um, it, by going through this survey, it, it really creates a, um, a foundation of trust that I think everything else is built on. Um, and I think you're starting to see that with some of, the, uh, some of the additional scores that we saw this year. Just like Scott, all our scores increased. You can see we had a lot of uh, opportunities for improvement um, between a communication executive leader and, and culture. And I'm happy that the, the team was um, fully engaged to be able to move those needles as much as they can. I can assure you that unless you're fully integrated from a team perspective, implementing your action plans, holding each other accountable, scores won't move as much as they are right there. So I'm extremely proud of our team as they went through that. And as I mentioned, this is our second year of um, going through the engagement survey. And I think about the opportunities that we had in our first year and second year. And I really think they're, um, they're, they really can be bowled into these three buckets. Right? Communicating our intentions, conversation and engagement at all levels, and insights into needs and expectations. I think one of the things that hit me true um, when we started implementing our engagement survey was it really allows us to put our vision statement into action. Our vision statement is people, purpose, action, growing ourselves to grow others. And as you go through your engagement survey, it really puts your vision statement into action. And when we talk about communicating our intentions, um, it really allows us to um, engage people at all levels within the organization. Hear from them as far as what's working, what's not working, but also give them an opportunity to participate in the process. So um, really ex excited about that this past year. Um, communication and engagement at all levels, this is something that uh, is a continuous growth effort for me, um, given such a large division. Um, COVID obviously had some opportunities for us to be able to, to challenge that. Obviously, you know, Zoom helped us that, but um, one of my action items you'll see over this next year is being able to get face-to-face. -face. Um, but it also allowed us to create some engagement opportunities um, with everybody within the organization, but also allows my leadership team to be able to communicate that as well. Insights into needs and expectations as you go through this engagement journey and implement your action plan, it allows you to communicate at all levels within the organization and really helps you as a senior level leader to be able to communicate what it means to be a leader, what it means to be an employee within your division but it also allows you to kind of listen to some of the challenges that you currently probably have blind spots on or have never seen. So um, really, really powerful stuff. But our results this year um, really continue to build on those opportunities um, to be able to create those horizontal relationships within our organization, just not the vertical ones. Um, more visibility from leadership, as I mentioned, getting out and about, um, being able to have FaceTime in smaller groups. Um, professional development and career opportunities as we created these groups for us to engage in and allowed us to really um, create some leadership training in those specific groups and it's um, something we're going to continue to build on. Um, and then recognition is it's more of a, a, a thing for me. I need to do a better job as it relates to recognizing good work um, as I see it. But this is what I really want to talk about is some of the other outcomes when you have a more engaged team. Um, I think a more engaged team, what I've seen over the past two years, it's sparked innovation um, in certain areas within our organization. Um, we, it embraced if, uh, efficiencies. Right, and, and a, a more engaged team that is uh, that is informed on processes, all processes, not just in their unit. A more engaged team that's informed on budget um, will embrace opportunities um, for efficiency 
and not necessarily historically go and try to delegate those hard decisions up to executive leadership. So really, really proud of that. And in some of these cases, we've had some, um, we've had some really creative um, units um, being able to find those efficiencies in their own individual unit and being able to have some, uh, additional savings within their budget that we can reinvest back into our people to, to continue to retain them. Um, but really, really proud of the innovation and the mindset and the other items that we have. Um, so as we move forward um, with the implementation of our action plan, um, as I mentioned, we're going to continue to do face-to-face -face rollouts. Our rollout plan, which will happen in the next two weeks, um, we will um, be doing smaller groups. So we're not even doing Zooms. We're doing smaller groups to allow us to have conversations with um, different units within our division and being able to have those what-if conversations as well. Um, continue to have those um, accessible engagement opportunities um, at all levels within the organization and intense focus on relationship building because we, I am 100% confident, guys, that there is hidden talent within every organization. And I can tell you that the more I engage with all levels of the organization, I found it. Right? I found some of that hidden talent that exists in the organization. And me, as a personal leader, it, 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 it creates a hunger inside me to grow that talent. Right, Because as we all know, it's extremely, extremely difficult to recruit talent. And I promise you, you have talent within your own organization that if you just engage them, you'll find it. And that is it. Thank you. Yep.